Hi, and welcome to SparkCon. Uh, it's a virtual Comic Con hosted by Little Heroes, who are a charity that make comic making kits and send them to children in hospital to give them something to do. Um, Aaron Rackley is the guy that's put all this together, and he's invited a load of creators together to try and make uh, some videos um, and make a virtual Comic Con, really. So at the moment it's quite appropriate we can't go and do the real con so we're gonna all sit around in our kitchens or wherever's available and um, bring you what we've made and and try and showcase some of our books and what we do so um, I'm Ken Reynolds I'm the maker or I'm the writer and creator of cognition which is a supernatural supernatural adventure story <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's about a steam-powered robot with a human soul and a demonically possessed mouse, and they fight ghosts and monsters in the Victorian era for the British Gold Secret Service. Uh, it's a black and white book. It's got a very noir feel to it. The artist is Sam Bentley, and I do the lettering as well as the rest of the production. And the arts gives gives it a really nice feel, really unique feel. And it really sets the tone for the story, which is, mm, it's a bit about black and white really, and the greys in between. But what, it, what it's really about is, um, a team of occult investigators in the Victorian era and they work, like I said, for the British Cult Secret Service. There's five issues of it which have been collected into a trade, which is this one. Everything was kick-started and culminated in this nice book, which is over 200 pages of the adventures, various adventures. I'm very proud of it. Uh, the, the, it started off as in the zero issue as three short stories that sets out the uh, sets up the characters and sets up the rules of the world. And then in issue one we get into our full issue length story, which is about a man who believes that something happened to his brother. He started acting very strangely, and. Uh, Cal and Sigma, because Cal is the is the robot and Sigma is the mouse, uh, go and investigate whether his brother's change of character had some spiritual shenanigans behind it, which of course it does. Um, and then in issue two, we start a actually yeah issue two we start a longer story, and it sort of evolves over the next three issues into a, a longer story arc. And it involves all sorts of things, really. We, we go to Wales and meet some witches. Uh, we go to Norfolk and meet some demon dogs. And uh, we eventually um, save the British Isles. <laughs> uh, with a big standoff in uh, the Tower of London. A big magical demon standoff in the Tower of London. So if that sounds up your street, um, please do give it a look. I did write some things down to try and hit. Uh, yeah, so like I said it's a bit of an ensemble cast. So we have the robot cow, and we have Sigma, and they're a bit of an odd couple. They don't really get on, so they bicker a little bit. Um, Cal is the only one that can hear Sigma because they're spiritually linked. But outside of that, we have Silas Pope, who is their boss. Really, he's a spy master magician. And we also have Hattie Griggs, who is the lady that invented and built the robot body and as we go through they pick up a few team members here and there um, let's have a look yeah I'll show you some of the merchandise for prints that like I said we kickstarted it all the way through so it's been five issues and the trade so all the way through we made different things so there's lots and lots of different art prints I'm going to try and show you some of those that we made as we went through Lots and lots of different artist interpretations of the characters, which is always the fun bit for me. And all the artists are credited on the print. There's Rory Donald, Wayne Loudon, 
Then Peter Johnson, it's another one from the main series artist Sam Bentley. Dean Beatty, Dennis Vermees, Tom Mortmore and Sam, uh, Dan Butcher, <laughs> Sam Butcher, why isn't she in EastEnders? <laughs> uh, Andrew Pauly, uh, Andy Bloor and Gareth Hopkins, who I believe is exhibiting at Spark Comedy, so you can go and check his video. Stuart McHugh, Lucas Klauchek, uh, uh, Sarah Millman, Martin Simmons, and Simo, and another one from Sam there. So we got a nice range of art. In the last campaign, we made a nice little bookmark as well to complement the book. I was quite pleased with that. Let's see if we can get that to hit the right. There you go. There's a little cog pattern on there. Nice metal bookmark. And I also made a little collector's box as well, which fits all of the single issues and uh, the trade as well. So all of those can be found on my online shop if you're interested to go and have a look. Um, my main site is kenreynolds.co.uk and there's links to everything there. Uh, I think my shop site is kenreynolds.bigcartel.com or co.uk. I can never remember. <laughs> it's probably something that I should remember, hey? Um, there are, I, am, I am planning on making more comics in the series, but at the minute the way the story has continued is over on my Patreon page. And what I've been doing is writing a short story every month. And it started as the Journal of Silas Pope. So I've taken one of the main characters from the comic series and delved a bit more into his background and history and how he became the character we meet in the comics. So that's been a lot of fun and uh, I'll conclude the first set of stories. There'll be about eight in total, I believe, and they'll be collected into a little novella short story collection. Uh, about three or four months away from that, I think. And then beyond that, I've got an RPG rule set planned for the whole world of Cognition. And the short stories will continue as well. But the next collection of short stories will be more about the team that we find in the comics. And it will be a few years after the comics end, after this volume ends. So I'm quite excited to get started on that too. Uh, you can see here there's another book. This one's My Life's Cartoon. This was... A selection of comic strips that I made between 2009 and 2013. There's over 150 in there that I collected together. I like to call it an autobiographic design um, comic strip collection because I'm a graphic designer and I started delving into my real life as well. Um, I'm also known for editing the experimental comic anthology Sliced Quarterly. We put out three different volumes of that over three years, and that was a really interesting project to oversee. A few of those are still available on my website, and that one was more of a playground for creators to really push the comic medium. So it's I always put it as a slice of life stories told in interesting ways, told in ways that you can only really tell in comics. So it's as much about how the story is told as what it's actually about. Um, all of that content is free on slicequarterly.co.uk so all 12 issues are up there and then in the print collections we always have bonus content there's a whole issue's worth of bonus content in each one I believe volume 1 is probably out of print you might be able to get it on the second hand market but I still have copies of volume 2 and 3 if anyone's interested in that uh, let me have a look Uh, that's pretty much all I've got to say though. So if you're interested in anything that you've seen so far, um, if you'd like to check out Cognition, then have a look on my website. Uh, you can sample it on the Comic House app. And there are various ways that you can get the Zero issue free on my Facebook page and on my website. And if you sign up to my email newsletter, you can get issues of Zero and One free if you'd like a free tester. And... Uh, yeah so please i hope you enjoy the day i hope that you have a look around at all the other videos and uh, i hope that you check in with the live stream as well which should be going on on saturday the 25th uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please support little heroes